my food. Huh? My bologna and cheese were right here. Now they're gone. I didn't eat them. Ergo, you did. I never did. Peculiar going on here. Looking for this? Good show, old bean. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> Just who do you think you are, mate? A rat. Wigglesworth, at your service, my good man. Hip hip and whatnot. Hip hip hip. Jolly good show. He talks weird. He looks weird too. That's because he's a rat. We don't associate with them. They carry fleas. Oh my! Say, you gents couldn't put a chap up for a day or two, could you? <laughs> Help a blow back on his feet, so to speak. <laughs> Times has been hard. Forget it, bub. <laughs> well, well, who do we have here? A new friend to our community? I say, I do believe I hear me mum calling. Cheerio! Good riddance! Too bad, rubbish! Now, now, lads, that's no way to behave. We should love our neighbour. Neighbour? Hey, he's a rat. He swiped my sandwich. Besides, he's from the other side of the river. He's an esquire. They have fleas. An esquire with fleas? Hmm. He's still our neighbour, and we should be kind to him. I don't know, Belfry. I think Theo's gone a bit balmy on this one. Imagine that flea bag rat how a neighbor. <laughs> Unfortunately, many humans have the same attitude toward people that are not just like us. Perhaps it's because people have incorrect views of what a neighbor is. Some might think of a neighbor as the thoughtless fellow who blows his leaves onto your lawn each week. Others might think of a neighbor as someone with an ear for juicy gossip. There are those that think of a neighbor as someone the neighborhood would be better without. But Jesus made it very clear who our neighbor is. Let's take a look at the parable of the Good Samaritan in our shoebox Bible theater. A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. The road he traveled was a treacherous road and very dangerous to travel, especially if one was traveling alone. It was called the Way of Blood because of the blood shed along it. It wasn't long before the man fell among thieves, hiding among the rocky crags. The thieves stripped him of his clothing, wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. Now, by chance, a certain priest came down that road. And when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. 
For all he knew, the thieves might be lurking nearby. Likewise, a Levite, when he arrived at the place, came and looked and also passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion. So he went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine, giving no thought for himself or his safety. When he had done what he could for the man, he sent him on his own animal. The Samaritan then brought the man to an inn and took care of him. Shalom! Shalom! My friend is hurt bad and needs help. Oh dear! Please bring him inside. The Samaritan did what he could to make the man comfortable. On the next day, the Samaritan took two denarii, enough to care for the man for several days. He told the innkeeper, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, I will repay you when I come again. Then he departed. Now, which of these three men do you think was neighbor to the man who fell among thieves? Was it the priest? Was it the Levite? Or was it the Good Samaritan? Dear ones, we are to love our neighbor no matter who he is or how different he may be from us. When we love others, we truly demonstrate our love for God. Even if our neighbor's a rat? Even if he's a rat. <laughs> what do you make of that, Belfry? Belfry? What happened to all me mates? Would you like some of my cheese? See? What's with this sudden make nice routine, hmm? I'm a Samarian. A Samarian? You know, a good guy. Thanks, old Bean. That's real neighborly of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>